Hey everybody, all right, let's get straight into this. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and figure out is how much pixels we have in our picture of Mario. Uh, with a reference picture, will be somewhere on one of these sides of me. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna find all the pixels in our reference photo and color them appropriately. Going off the picture that I'm using, it looks like we only need about four colors to really complete this. And I'm going off of this picture because there's really not a whole a lot of options for when you're looking at gummy bears as far as colors so we're gonna stick with the classic red green Mario using some graph paper will make this a lot easier you don't have to use graph paper but I'm gonna use it because I'm done so basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna make a small dot in each pixel of our graph paper I'm not gonna color in the whole entire box but I'm just gonna do a teeny tiny dot just to signify to me what color is gonna go where And just like that, we are done with our pixel rendition of Mario. So as you can see here, it gives us a very easy to look at diagram and we can see exactly how many pixels he's comprised of. So based off our diagram, which I'm not sure the camera is even picking up, we can clearly see how many pixels we have, therefore how many gummy bears we'll need as well. Now, since this piece of art will be made entirely out of gummy bears, we gotta first look at how big a gummy bear is. Considering that a gummy bear is more rectangular shaped than anything, we're gonna go ahead and count it as two pixels. So with that being said, every two pixels on our diagram is going to be one gummy bear. And whenever we have an uneven amount of pixels, we're just gonna go ahead and slice the gummy bear right down the middle. I'll go ahead and I'll start with just one bag for now. And I can start separating them from all the different color types. Red being important and also green, followed by the clear and then lastly yellow. All right, and now that we're finished, as you can see here, we have all the separated colors. And if you're an orange lover, then you're straight out of luck because that is our least colored gummy bear in our whole pile. But lucky for us, we have plenty of green, we have plenty of red, so that might be completely enough to finish this. Now that our colors are all separated, we can then begin arranging our gummy bears into the exact arrangement we made based on our little pixel diagram that we made earlier. Now, the only thing left to do is to put this in a frame because what is any piece of art without a good frame? All right, now that we have our clean shadow box, the last step is just to stick on our gummy bears. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top down and whatever works best, I'm just gonna organize it in the same way that I oriented these. Now I do suggest using glue for this. However, with anything being sugary, especially sugary gummy snacks, they're always gonna be sticky, especially to smooth surfaces. Look at how fucking cool that is. Honestly, I'm impressed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want me to make next.